Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a really quick review of the new Sig Sauer P320X5 DH3. I own a 320 Max and an X5 Legion uh, that I shoot for USPSA Carry Optic. They're configured very similar. And I, when this gun, I heard about it and it was coming to the market, I really wanted to have this to keep kind of as a carry slash tactical duty style setup. I went ahead and I put a Hollow Sun 507C on it using the CNH Weapon Systems adapter. Adapter plate's not really the right, right word, a filler plate that allows the plate indexes to the slide and then the slide has the recoil bosses that index into the optic itself and make for a much more solid and durable fit to the slide. One thing that is really nice about this firearm is you do have the co-witnessable suppressor height iron sights that are fully functional and usable here, which are very nice. And they are the X-Ray 3 night sights from SIG. So I took this gun out, I put about 350 rounds through it, uh, shot great as would have been expected. It's a, it is an X5, right? There's no reason this should shoot any differently. Um, Trigger is the standard for the stock. I'm using uh, Robert Burke at the SIG Armorers trigger in my uh, competition pistols, but in this one, I'm shooting it just stock at, for the moment because it hasn't obviously had time to go out for any sort of gunsmithing or anything like that. First impression, great gun. Cost-wise, if you're looking for a firearm of this style and you're basically considering this or the X5 Legion, it really depends on what you want to do with it. This is a nice gun and it is built in the marketing videos from SIG as, you know, put the irons on it or put the optic on it. You can shoot it, take the optics off, shoot it with irons. If you're in a competition class where you have to use the irons, et cetera, et cetera, which is a nice feature. I think it has a, personally, I like the look of it a little better. I like the lines, the milling on the top than the X5 Legion. I also like that you have the Romeo 1 Pro RMR and loophole cut that you can mount directly to the slide without the plate if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, one thing that should be noted is I originally was going to run a Delta Point Pro on this. I got the Delta Point Pro, which I will note that I am running on my X10 with this, the CNH Weapon Systems filler plate. The issue I ran into here is I wanted co-witness irons. And if you put the Delta Point Pro in here, even without the adapter plate, it rides too high to co-witness, even with these uh, suppressor height sights that SIG has provided on this gun. So that is one thing to quick note. Uh, other than that, it's a great gun. I think you can put this on a duty belt. You can carry, you could carry it as a daily. I do. Uh, I'm a little bit bigger human, so I can get away with it. If you're five foot four and 120 pounds, I don't know if it's the carry gun for you. Um, the nice thing about it, you could pop, well, you wouldn't even legally have to pop the light off, you pop the magwell off, and this is a carry optics gun. Take the magwell, take the optic off, and you could put 10 round, load 10 rounds in each of the 21 round magazines that are provided. You get three of those, which is, you know, nice because SIG's super proud of their magazines and they're very expensive for some reason even though the same as everybody else's magazine. And you could go right out, shoot the USPSA. Um, I don't know a lot about like IDPA rules, but you could definitely make it ID, you know, IDPA legal as well. I don't really have any future plans for this gun. I just, I wanted it, I like the look, I like the feel. I'm a big 320 fan. So I wanted to get a hold of it. And I'm, I got some Align Tactical stuff on order. I like using the Align Tactical gas pedal. Uh, and or takedown lever, whatever you want to call it, and their uh, elevated magazine release that they have, which allows for a little bit higher, tighter grip on the firearm. Uh, this is my USPS, my main USPSA gun that I shoot. It's a 320 Max that I pieced together myself, um, and then sent down to Robert Burke at the Sig Armor to get this what basically operates like a you know 2011 trigger. It's absolutely fantastic. So thanks for stopping by, guys. I'm hoping I uh, create a lot more content for everyone uh, with the upcoming USPSA season. I got big plans to shoot a lot and hopefully create a bunch of content. So uh, if you want to stick around, you want to see when I put new content up, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. 
and we will talk to you later. Thanks.